They're often pacing roving matriarch out fast for the lead in between horses Maggie McStar left cannonball carry moving up on the outside. A battle for the lead, Cannonball Carry on the outside, Roving Matriarch on the inside. It's Roving Matriarch, the leader, Cannonball Carry trying to back off to drop in second, and she does. In front of Maggie McStar, third on the inside, fourth. That's JKW up on the outside, fifth, Scud Affair racing in sixth, Battle Shoe Maggie. In seventh position, Tempt Me Not, three lanes back to Walmack Opal, trailing the field, Restless Day. 29 and 2 for the opening quarter. They have one more trip around this 5 8 oval. It's Roving Matriarch, the leader, racing in second position. Cannonball Carry on the inside. Maggie McStar, third. Scud Affair is going to be parked the mile tonight. She's on the outside, fourth, and needs to do more. On the inside, JKW, no place to go. Fifth, about to go three wide as Battleshoe Maggie. Tempt me not as no place to go and being outpaced, Restless Day. 59 and 1 in their halfway home second quarter in 29 and 4. On the mid back stretch, Roving Matriarch, the leader, racing in second. Cannonball carry. There goes Battle Shoe Maggie now three wide third. Maggie McStar on the inside fourth. Scud Affair still hanging out there in fifth. Three wide, Tempt Me Not sixth. They race by three quarters in one, 28 and 3. Third quarter, 29 and 2. Roving Matriarch holding firm. Cannonball carries had a golden trip, and now she comes out second. And going off stride in the back is Tent Me Not. Pacers straighten away for the final eighth of a mile. Cannonball carry now takes the lead. Closing ground on the outside. Second is Maggie McStar and Battleshoe Maggie. Roving Matriarch on the rail. Cannonball carry starting to draw clear as they come to the wire. Maggie McStar is going to get up for second, and Roving Matriarch will finish third.